Graco's Laser Guide 2000 mounts to any Graco line laser. Reference the line laser brochure or manual for the specific part number for your machine. The Laser Guide 2000 kit shown here is for a line laser 5 3900 5900 HP automatic. Depending on the model of your line laser, the mounting hardware for your kit may differ. Start by removing the battery cover. Attach the on-off switch to the desired location on the handlebar. Route the wires up to the battery and connect the positive and negative terminals. Don't connect the GL2000 directly to a generator source as it can create over voltage and damage to the electronics. Reattach the battery cover and be sure to keep the laser switch leads accessible. Attach the laser mounting bracket to the handlebar. Start by removing the four bolts on the dual comfort handlebar system. Slide the laser mounting bracket into place. Replace and hand tighten the four bolts. Adjust the handlebars to your desired position and ensure the square tubing is level with the ground. Fully tighten all four bolts. Slide the laser support bracket into the laser mount bracket and screw in the adjustment knob. Attach the laser to the mounting bracket. Connect the switch leads to the laser wire harness. If you have a Laser Guide 1700 start stop laser, turn it on and position the laser dot underneath one of the guns. You will be using this as a reference point during calibration. Calibrating your Laser Guide 2000 may take a few attempts, but once set, additional calibration only has to be performed if the laser is bumped. Tilt the laser downward and move the laser support bracket left or right until it is in line with the gun. Adjust the laser back to the upward position. Find an existing long straight line such as a curb or a previously striped line. Mark the halfway point and set the target box at the far end. At the starting point, make sure your striper frame is true to your reference line by pushing the machine about 10 feet while keeping the spray nozzle over or parallel with the line. Make sure the laser is level, then adjust the laser from left to right until it is centered in the target box at the far end. Position the spray nozzle directly over the reference line and maneuver the machine from left to right until the laser is centered in the target box at the far end. Make sure the spray nozzle is centered over the line. Walk toward the target box while keeping the laser centered in the target box. Look only at the target, not at the spray nozzle. Stop at the halfway point and check the position of the spray nozzle relative to the line. If the spray nozzle is to the left of the reference line by one and a half inches, for example, adjust the laser using the fine line adjustment screws one and a half inches to the left of the center line. Go back to the starting point and position the spray nozzle directly over the reference line. Maneuver the machine from left to right until the laser is centered in the target box at the far end. Walk to the halfway point, keeping the laser centered on the target. If the laser is centered in the target and the spray nozzle is over the reference line, you are calibrated. If not, adjust as needed and repeat to verify alignment. To use the Laser Guide 2000, you need two points a starting point to position the spray nozzle over, and an ending point to stripe to. For day operation, place the target box at your destination. You will not see the green line along the ground surface, but the line on the target will be visible up to several hundred feet away. Position the spray nozzle with the laser over your starting point. Slightly loosen the vertical adjustment knob and rotate the Laser Guide 2000 up or down until the laser stripe on the far target is the brightest. Then lock the vertical adjustment knob. Start striping, always keeping the laser in the center of the target box. Keep your eyes on the target, not on the spray nozzle. 
For night operation, the target box is optional since you will see the bright green line on the ground. However, the target is useful for longer runs as a visual tool to determine the end of the run.